When Xpeng unveiled their humanoid robot called Iron, the internet erupted. Not with praise, with accusations. Fake. There's a person inside. This is CGI. For weeks, nobody believed a Chinese company could build a robot that moved this perfectly. The balance, the stride, even the head tilt looked too human to be real. So Xpeng did something shocking. They brought iron on stage and literally unzipped it, revealing pure metal and circuitry. No actor, no costume. Just engineering so advanced it fooled the entire world. This is the story of the most human robot ever built, and why proving it was real changed everything. The moment that broke the internet. Let's be honest by now, we've all seen enough realistic robots online to roll our eyes a little, right? Every few months there's a new headline. This robot walks like a human, or this robot can dance. But then Xpeng showed up, and suddenly the line between human and machine got really blurry. When Xpeng first rolled out their humanoid robot called Iron, the internet absolutely lost it. Not because it was clunky or creepy like most prototypes, but because it looked too perfect. Its balance, its stride, even the way it tilted its head, people swore there had to be a person inside. China unveiling a robot that moves like a living person? The comments went wild. Fake! There's an actor in there. This is CGI. For weeks, that was the narrative dominating every tech forum and social media platform. The dramatic reveal. But Xpeng wasn't laughing. Behind the scenes, their engineers had spent years creating this machine. Every tendon, actuator, and artificial muscle, only to be told their work was a hoax. So, instead of replying online, they decided to show the truth in the most dramatic way possible. At the next press event, they brought Iron back on stage. The crowd was silent, cameras everywhere. The robot walked out smooth, balanced, with that same human grace that started the controversy. And then, right there under the spotlights, one of the engineers unzipped the synthetic suit. What they revealed was pure metal and circuitry. No actor, no costume, no trickery, just a mechanical skeleton so advanced it could almost breathe. And then, something incredible happened. The presenter actually apologized to the robot, saying, I'm sorry we had to do this, but we had to prove you're real. You could feel the emotion in the room, because this wasn't just about a robot, it was about trust, identity, and disbelief. Drop iron in the comments if you think this is the most human robot ever built, or tell us which robot impresses you most. The bias nobody talks about. See? That's the deeper part of this story. If this exact same robot had a Tesla logo on it or came from Boston Dynamics, people would have accepted it instantly. But Xpeng, the car company from Guangzhou? No way it had to be fake. That bias hit hard. So Xpeng took it even further. They cut open part of Iron's leg on stage while it was still powered on to reveal the internal structure. Synthetic skin peeled back to show fiber-like muscle layers, joint actuators, and precision-engineered servo systems. It was a moment that turned shock into silence and silence into respect. This wasn't just a PR stunt. Xpeng actually used that moment to launch Iron's next generation, a version so advanced it doesn't just move like a human, it's built like one, the next generation Iron. This new model has 22 degrees of freedom in its hands, with each finger capable of delicate, natural motion. It features a biomimetic spine and muscle system that lets it bend, twist, and balance like a real body, plus a curved 3D display head that can show facial expressions and interact with humans in real time. China just unveiled a groundbreaking AI system called WOW, the first self-evolving world model that teaches robots to actually think and move with human-like intuition. Iron runs on three of Xpeng's own Turing AI chips, delivering an insane 2,250 trillion operations per second. That's not marketing fluff, that's serious brain power, enabling the robot to process sensory data, make decisions, and execute movements with unprecedented precision. The combination of advanced hardware and AI creates a robot that doesn't just follow commands, but understands context and adapts to situations dynamically. The surprising honesty. But here's what really surprised everyone. Xpeng's CEO didn't try to overhype it. He said, we're not ready for home robots yet. It's too early, too expensive, too risky. 
Instead, he explained that these humanoids will start as tour guides, customer assistants, and office concierges inside Xpeng's own buildings first. Think about that. While most companies sell concept robots with vague promises, Xpeng is literally deploying theirs to real workplaces first. That's how confident they are in their technology. They're treating iron as a tool that needs real-world refinement before consumer release, a refreshingly honest approach in an industry filled with hype and unfulfilled promises. The game-changing impact. But the craziest part? That one bold moment unzipping and exposing the robot on stage actually changed everything for them. Suppliers who were hesitant before suddenly wanted in. Investors started calling. And the narrative flipped overnight from fake Chinese robot to Holy crap, China might actually lead the humanoid race. It's poetic, isn't it? They had to cut open their creation to prove it was real. But in doing so, they exposed something far more important. How quick we are to doubt what's unfamiliar and how powerful it is when truth speaks louder than bias. The demonstration didn't just validate iron's authenticity, it forced the global tech community to acknowledge China's rapidly advancing robotics capabilities. China's robotics revolution. Robotics in China just hit another level. In just a few months, they've gone from lab research to robots that can think, move, and even act almost like humans, all powered by next-level AI models. The WOW system, World Omniscient World model, represents a fundamental breakthrough. It's the world's first self-evolving, multimodal world model system. Developed by the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center, together with Tsinghua University, and Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, WOW combines physical simulation with vision language models, enabling robots to imagine, verify, and self-correct. In other words, they can build a sense of physical intuition, similar to how humans understand cause and effect. This isn't just pattern recognition, it's genuine learning that improves with experience. How WOW changes everything. The idea behind WOW is that current video or simulation models just watch the world passively. They can see what happens, but they don't really grasp why it happens. WOW flips that approach by letting the model actively interact with its environment, learn from it, and refine its understanding through trial and error. It's a 1-4 billion parameter generative model that actually learns about physics the way we do, by doing things, messing up, and improving over time. If you tell a robot to move a cup off the edge of a table without spilling it, WOW doesn't just output words or animations. It predicts what would happen, checks the result through reasoning, and then refines its understanding to make the next move more realistic. It's basically a loop of predict, critique, and refine. And that loop keeps going until the robot's behavior becomes genuinely smart and physically consistent. The Benchmark Breakthrough to test all this, researchers created a whole new benchmark called WOW Bench, which measures how well AI systems can understand perception, reason about predictions, make decisions, and execute them in a generalized way. So far, WOW has hit state-of-the-art scores on that benchmark, beating other models when it comes to physical plausibility, temporal consistency, and understanding complex instructions. One of the coolest demonstrations is how WOW can be used in areas like novel view synthesis and trajectory-guided video generation. Basically, the model can simulate what an object would look like from another angle or how it would move in a real physical scene, all with consistent logic behind it. The authors made it clear this is a crucial step toward building AI systems with genuine physical common sense. When robots have access to massive real-world interaction data instead of just videos or text, their understanding of cause and effect becomes a lot more grounded. The Affordable Revolution While China's pushing the boundaries of robot intelligence on the software side, they're also making serious moves on the hardware front, especially when it comes to price. The country just unveiled what's being called the world's cheapest humanoid robot. And it's not a toy or a proof of concept, it's a real walking, talking humanoid called Boomi, created by a startup named Nodix Robotics. Boomi costs only 9,998 yuan, approximately $1,370, and stands just over 3 feet tall, about 94 centimeters. It weighs around 12 kilograms, about 26.5 pounds. 
It's tiny compared to full-size robots like those from Unitry or UB Tech, but that's the point. Nodix isn't trying to compete with big industrial machines. They're opening a whole new category, small, lightweight, and affordable humanoids built for education and home use. Despite the size and price, Boomi can walk, balance, and even dance with surprising smoothness. Mass Adoption Strategy Early videos show Boomi moving with a level of stability you wouldn't expect from something under $1,400. That's cheaper than a flagship iPhone or a high-end drone. The company says this is the first consumer-grade humanoid priced below 10,000 yuan, and it could mark a turning point for the whole industry. Most humanoid robots capable of walking or dynamic motion still cost tens of thousands in China and even more in the West. Boomi's low price comes from clever design choices, lightweight composite materials, an in-house motion control system, and a modular structure that's easy to repair and customize. It focuses more on engagement and learning than heavy lifting or industrial tasks. The robot runs on a 48-volt battery, giving it about one to two hours of operation per charge. It's designed to support drag and drop graphical programming, so even kids or beginners can code it easily, plus voice interaction, so it can act like a personal assistant. Strength meets precision. But let's move up the scale from small, friendly robots to one showing pure strength and precision. Over at the Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence, researchers took Unitree's G1 humanoid and gave it a challenge. Pull a car, and not a toy car, a real one weighing 1,000, 400 kilograms, about 3,000, 100 pounds. The G1 weighs just 35 kilograms and stands about 132 centimeters tall, yet it managed to pull a vehicle roughly 40 times its own weight across a flat surface. What's impressive isn't just that the robot could move the car, but how it did it. In the video, you can see it leaning back sharply, moving its feet rapidly to maintain traction, and constantly adjusting to stay upright all autonomously. The fact that it can dynamically balance itself while hauling such a massive load shows how far motion control and feedback systems have come. The bigger picture. Today, Xpeng's iron stands as a symbol of a fundamental shift in global robotics. It's not just a machine, it's proof that innovation doesn't care about borders. It's proof that real progress doesn't need marketing spin. It just needs the courage to show what's under the surface. And maybe that's what makes this story so human. Xpeng Iron didn't just fool the internet. It reminded us that sometimes the future looks unbelievable until someone dares to open it up and show us it's real. What's clear is that China is moving faster than anyone expected in robotics development. If this pace continues, 2026 might really be the year when robots can walk into a house, cook a meal, and clean up after themselves, not because someone programmed every move, but because they actually understand what they're doing through systems like WOW. The future is here. The Xpeng Iron Story isn't just about one impressive robot, it's about a global shift in robotics leadership, the power of transparency over hype, and how quickly skepticism can transform into respect when backed by undeniable proof. From Iron's dramatic reveal to WoW's self-evolving AI, from $1,370 home robots to machines pulling cars 40 times their weight, China's robotics revolution is rewriting what we thought possible. The question isn't whether humanoid robots will integrate into our lives, it's how quickly we'll adapt to living alongside them. Xpeng proved their robot was real by cutting it open on stage. Now the rest of the world is watching to see what China builds next. What do you think is Iron the most human robot ever built, or is something even more impressive coming? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe because the robotics revolution is accelerating faster than anyone predicted and we're covering every breakthrough as it happens.